everyone. Uh, my name is Christina and I'm Elizabeth's little sister and maid of honor. Uh, Elizabeth has always been there for me since day one and um, she's been setting an example for how to take life by the reins from that point. Um, when we were little I used to introduce myself by saying I'm Senna and uh, Elizabeth would go my name is Elizabeth and I am four years old and I can read. <laughs> and Tim has been the best compliment to my work hard and play hard sister. Um, most of you don't know this, but the first time I saw Tim was not actually when Tim and Elizabeth were dating. It was rather in one of the math classes they shared in college. Um, I was shadowing my sister to see if I wanted to go to UW like her, um, and I knew she was a math major, so I was trying to scope out the people she was spending her time with. Um, I pointed out Tim at the end of the class and I go, he's the cutest boy in here, you need to study with him. <laughs> um, little did I know that they really would form a study group together and apparently that's worked out pretty well for them. <laughs> but Tim has been supportive and steadfast and sassy as ever throughout the whole, uh, the whole experience. And really he just makes my sister very, very happy. And that's all I can ask for and all that I can hope for for the future. Here is to one of the most driven, generous, sincere, lovely sisters out there. And to the love you and Tim share, may it be like a Mobius strip. That is to say, may it be infinite. Cheers. <laughs>
when I first met Tim was in seventh grade in a study hall, and I was terrible at spelling, and I was writing down, I wanted to meet friends, and spelled it wrong. And he, he, he showed, told me, friends is spelled F-R-I-N. Friends to the end. And that perfectly exemplifies Tim. He's always been that friend that's always there with you.